lose their personal power to make choices when their parent-child relationship is tampered with, eroded, and destroyed within family court and out. I even wrote a book about the experience to try and help those who haven't experienced this phenomenon better understand it. It is a novel entitled The Look of Love, and one reviewer wrote that it is a poolside education for those that do not understand the horrors of divorce and family court systems. I hope you will have a chance to read it. But now it is time to focus. And now it is time to realize that it is no longer healthy to wallow in our stories, in our sadness, and in our loss. Now is the time to participate in creating change, in cultural awareness, in legislative change, and in the way all government entities become involved in our families. We cannot shout as individuals into a sea of demands and needs that may seem more pressing, but what we can do is join our voices and unite as one, increase awareness, educate, and take a stand for what we believe is right. A slow, steady, positive effort toward our end goal. It is time to take action to reform and re-educate family courts, divorce lawyers, and judges who determine custody. It is time for courts to stand up and recognize that parental alienation is not only a violation of both the child and the alienated parent's inherent constitutional right, it's a failure to our future. The destruction of too many families is the root cause of a host of severe social problems that arise from an epidemic failure of personal responsibility. But perhaps worse than that is the fact that our society will never ever solve these problems unless we address how we are failing families in distress. Overwhelming statistical evidence shows that children do better when both parents are there for them providing love and discipline. When both parents are there, that is the important thing. This fundamental truth is essential to the core values of a responsible society. Internationally recognized child development specialist Stephen Scott says that positive parent-child experiences are more important to their later success as responsible adults than even income or other factors. What most influences the character of a person is the family that we grow up in. Our character determines how well we stick to our commitments how we bounce back from bad times, and how we think about other people. This all starts at home. All these things and more are the result of the parenting we receive as children. We all know what good parenting looks like because it fosters commitment, resilience, and empathy. It seems too obvious to say, but parenting is the key to developing responsible people. Evidence shows that our parents are the single most important factor in our ultimate success or failure. What matters most to a child's life's chances isn't the wealth of the upbringing, but the warmth of their parents. There is a direct link between family breakdown and the growth of things like drug and alcohol abuse, teenage pregnancies, crime, and dependence on social services like welfare. Successful parenting in whole and intact families occurs not because these people are intrinsically better or that they love their children more, it is because with divorce can come a host of other problems that make equal parenting more difficult, or in the case of parental alienation, often impossible. Good parenting demands unity. If we want to give our nation's children the best chance in life, no matter their background or income, they need strong, secure families, or in the case of divorce, strong, confident, and able parents who instill ethics from an early age. Children are like sponges. They are receptive to the influences around them, whether it's radio, television, advertising, music, or videos. Kids are constantly tuned in. They're constantly watching and learning. And that's why even our laws and our government must play a part in ingraining a culture of a responsibility in our younger generations. Everyone has a duty to ensure that children absorb influences that model responsibility. Parenting is the core building block to a stronger society, and government must act to strengthen families, providing support to both parents should start in our courts. And at the very least, the courts need to stop contributing to the problem.